All right, guys, we're back out the field. Uh, I believe this is, I don't know, flight eight or nine for this thing already. So we're going to give you guys a little bit of a flight uh, demonstration that shows the capabilities of the airplane a little bit more than what, the, what was on the maiden flight. So anyways, we're going to take her up and give her a whirl. Visibility with that one will not be a problem. Coming out. So I try to do nice and easy scalish takeoffs with this thing, but it's so light it just comes off the ground really easy, even with the slats out. So, Timer taking start. off. Plenty of vertical. Still going. That's pretty impressive, Michael, on the discus launch. What's your longest flight on that guy? Time remaining four minutes. I've been getting killer flight times out of this thing too. I believe uh, the last flight was like six and a half minutes and I have like 40% left. I was doing a lot of high alpha stuff. All right, so we're going to come in here with the heating edge flaps down. Slow her down a little bit. This thing just takes yeah. forever to get slow because it flies so light that it just glides and glides and glides. Time remaining three minutes. There we go. Just a kiss of throttle to keep it. You have some strange winds out here right now, but look at that. I got into the power a little bit. It already accelerated out of that angle of attack, <laughs> and now it's already going too fast, even though I just barely get into the power. I was actually pretty worried it wasn't going to have the power to get out of high alpha very well, but it's so light in the air that definitely is not the case. Okay, let's see if I can come from the left here. Time remaining two minutes. Yeah, see, I got it too fast again. All right. I'm gliding in high alpha. <laughs> We'll do that. We'll get rid of the heating edge flaps and accelerate out. No problem. Now it doesn't have the power to just climb out of a high alpha, but you see it gets up and going pretty quick. So one thing I started doing Time is remaining saying, one minute. 
is like a, I don't even know what you call it, but pretty much I just go up really high into the vertical. I kick out all the leading edge flap at the top, pull it full up. It just, it's just parachuting down. That was my first time going to full rate elevator. Where it was actually too much. So let me, 30 seconds. let me try that again. Did you have the leading down? All yeah, the way? it was down all the way. So let's try that again. Seconds. Do a little spin in there. 10. <laughs> It's uh, quite the capable aircraft, what can I say? So Timer expired. Five minute warning. We'll throw a little knife edge to finish off the flight there. All right. So let me go ahead and toss the gear out. Let me go to the first notch flap. First notch of leading edge flap. full flat. The winds are kind of not much right now but they keep switching so must be a thermal coming through here. She's, she's floating right on by. Let's go around. That wasn't very pretty. Let's try that again. So we're up to about six minutes now. Or wait, no, I think that's seven minutes. I think my timer's at six minutes. Minus one minute. All right. Try that again. Breeze changed a little bit, so. See how long it takes to get it slowed down. It's just super clean, super light. Yeah, it's uh, a really fun airplane, man. <laughs> I definitely uh, enjoy flying it for sure. It's essentially everything I kind of hoped it would be and didn't know if it would be or not, but turned out it is. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed uh, ringing out the old YF-17 a little bit. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.